Now, cut it using the help of a cutter. Repeat the process of cutting the tops of the popsicle sticks 8 times. So in total you want 9 popsicle sticks with the tops cut off. Put a rubber band around these popsicle sticks whose tops we have cut and hold them tightly together and sand them to make their top smooth and even. All done. Now let's remove the rubber band. Take one popsicle stick and find a center point. Now draw a straight line on it. Take another popsicle stick, the, now measure its width. The width of the popsicle stick I am using is 1.8 cm. Mark a point measuring half of its width. So for 1.8 cm, its half would be 9, 0 0.9 cm. Now, find the length of the popsicle stick. The length of the popsicle sticks I am using from its round to rounded tips is 15.2 cm. Half of its length would be 7.6 cm. Mark a point at half of the length of your popsicle stick. Now draw a line connecting to the point of half the length of your popsicle stick. Now with the help of a cutter cut it over here. Repeat these steps on five more popsicle sticks. So in total, we need six popsicle sticks cut in half. Align the bases, put the rubber band tightly around them. Take sandpaper and sand the tops to make them smooth and even. I am using 220 grit sandpaper as I feel it's the perfect grid for making the popsicle sticks smooth. Take one half of the popsicle stick that was cut in half horizontally, find its center point. Now draw a straight line on it with the help of a scale. Now using a cutter, cut it in half. Find the center point of a popsicle stick whose top we have cut. Now take, the, take a scale and draw a straight line. With the help of a cutter, cut it in half. As you can see, we have cut this popsicle stick in half as well as this one in half. Now, let's just sand these edges so that they are smooth. Now, 
Now let's stick the popsicle sticks together to make the base. Now stick these popsicle sticks in the following way. You put one of the halves in this on this side and one of the half on the side. Take half a popsicle stick, place it over here. To ensure that you follow this particular order. Now take paper clips and, to, and use them to hold these pieces together. You can see this is now dry. So now let's remove the paper clips. Now take the template from the description and cut it out. Leaving, ensure that you leave a good border around the surrounded template. Now take carbon paper and place the grounded template over the popsicle sticks. Ensure that the template, the main design of the template is completely on popsicle sticks. Add some weight and now trace it. Ensure you get these details such as where the finger groove should go and what part of the karambit should be scraped. As you can see, we have now traced out the template using carbon paper. Now, let's carve it out using the cutter. Always ensure that you cut away from yourself with a cutter. Keep checking how close you are to the design from time to time as you do not want to over -cuff. Lastly, be extremely careful while carving and take permission from your parents before using a cutter and making this activity as you may get hurt. Here are some tips for carving. 
after 15 minutes ensure that you rest the blade for 15 minutes at least as after carving it becomes weak and hence it will break now it's time to make this smooth and even by using sandpaper you have a piece of sandpaper and move it along it when trying to sand these finger holes wrap it around your finger and sand this makes the process of sanding much easier and it gives a perfect shape to the finger grooves as you can see we have now sanded it here's it so while sanding ensure that you keep collect all the sawdust in a box as it will help us later on in strengthening this now Let's scrape the scrape the marked portion to make it look sharp. They ask you if you're sharp. You have to say that you're sharp, but in reality, you're not sharp. Be very careful while doing this. Now that that's been done for both the sides, let's sand this area. Now let's cut out the hole in this karambit. First take an ordinary blade and carefully cut it, scrape some portion off. I have already done this on the other side. Now take a thin screwdriver, do this under adult supervision. Take a hammer and gently make a hole in the karambit. Make two such holes quite close to each other. Just make sure that it doesn't start to crack up from the outside. Now, take a larger head screwdriver, place it in the center bridge, and use a hammer to make a hole in it. Found an easier way to cut out this portion. First, Take a nail and a hammer. Do this under adult supervision or take your parents' help. It's much better to take an adult's help rather than getting hurt. Take the nail, put it close to the marked circle but not too far away. Tap it a few times to make a hole. Ensure that you don't Hammer it completely through the karambit, otherwise at that point it will start making cracks into the karambit. As you can see, we have cut out this much portion of the karambit circle by using the technique shown before. Now let's do that with the rest of it. As you can see, we have cut a hole in the center of our karambit. Now, let's move on to making the handles. Take 6 popsicle sticks. The heads do not need to be chopped off. I have a few lying around with the heads chopped off. You can just stick popsicle sticks with both the rounded sides. Take one popsicle stick. Measure its width. The popsicle sticks I am using have a width of 1.8 centimeter half of it is 0.9 centimeter mark the point now draw a straight line with the head of a with the help of a cutter cut it in half
with the help of paper clips put pressure on them so that they stick properly like so As you can see it is now stuck. Now let's trace on the handle design onto this with the help of carbon paper. So after drawing the template should look like this and I already have a finished product of one side for you guys. So this is the opposite side it should look like this. As you can see we have now carved this out to make these finger grooves carve it Scrape, carve and scrape it at an angle. After that, sand it in this manner. As you can see, I am sanding it at an angle. This will help our fingers to sit comfortably in the handle area of the karambit. Over here, we have our two handles. If you remember, I had told you to save the sand filings of the karamit and the handles. Now, take some white glue. And with the help of a small popsicle stick, spread it in places where you see gaps. The most important places to spread it are the blade, and the circle ring as it is quite thin making it weak. First focus on this ring then on the blade. The handle is of least importance as there will be two more pieces going on each side. You can fill it up if you have enough signed phalanx but do that as the last priority. As you can see we spread the mixture of sand filings with glue over the ring and the blade. Now let's just do one final sanding just to make it even. We have done the sanding. But now just for the final finish, let's take a higher grit of sandpaper like 1200 grit and give it a final sanding. This step is optional, you do not have to do it, but will definitely make your fin object smoother. I've sanded the main karamba and the two handles. We're using the smoother grit sandpaper. Now this step is optional again. You can take super glue. glue as it has a strong smell and it, it can stick to the skin and it can may stick any your fingers etc do take permission and if required take help, the help of your parents I have also made these two optional decals using these templates now it's time to paint our karambit I will be using spray paints. If you don't want to use spray paints, you can use acrylic paints. I will be hydro dipping. Hydro dipping is a method that can only be done using spray paints. First, take a drop of water and spray your paints into it. Then, wear gloves and simply dip it into the wad full of water and paint. If you don't want to use spray paints, you can always use acrylic colors. The main rule we want to apply is that suppose your blade is red, make the handle black and this optional decal red. Here are a few color combos you can try. A black and red, a silver and black and here are a few special color combos you can try. Handle in black and this decal in silver. And 
the portion which we have scraped off can be painted gold. It should just be a very slight effect of gold and not too much as that will look tacky. And we have a blue and orange color combo. Make the blade blue and this decal blue. The finger group should be painted blue as well and the handle orange. As you can see, we have hydro dipped the karambit and the swirly effect is just looking awesome. We have spray painted our handles in red. Spray paints give a smooth, even finish and a glossy effect to your items. And over here, we have spray painted the optional decals in black. Now it's time to stick this together. I will be sticking this with the help of super glue. Now let's stick this optional decal. Try and align the center points of these the handle grooves with these. As you can see, we stuck the handle and the decal on both the sides. And there you have it, your very own karambit made from popsicle sticks. Why are you running? Why are you running? So guys, that was our popsicle stick karambit. I hope you liked the way it looked. If you do, please like on the video. Share it with your friends and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Also, tell me in the comment section if you liked the way the hydro dipping turned out. Thanks so much for watching.